Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another comparison video. And as you guys can see by the title, today we're talking about the Under Armour Curry 5 and the Nike Carry 4s. Let's get it. Once again, it's a Kyrie versus Curry matchup. One of my favorite matchups in the NBA. Facts. When those point guards do battle, it's electrifying to watch Timmy. Good work. They go at each other so much and it's just so buff to see. Yeah, They've done it in the finals. Curry's come on top sometimes. Carries come up top sometimes, even in the studio. When we're talking about these shoes, you know, side by side each other in terms of their predecessors. It's been it's been crazy. It's been mad. It's been mad. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So getting straight into the aesthetics of each shoe, flow, what's your pick? You know what? I don't think neither of these shoes are crazy appealing to the eye. Mm. I think they're both decently looking shoes. Yeah. Um, the good but looking, if, if yeah. they're, they're good looking, do you know what I mean? Nothing crazy, but I think the point would have to go to the Kyrie. I think I prefer the way the Kyrie looks, just a bit more than the Kyrie 5. I mean, the Kyrie is still a nice looking shoe, but the Kyrie might be just a bit better looking. Yeah, I think in hand they actually almost look very different to what they do on feet. Yeah. Like the Kyrie 4 on feet is fantastic. Yeah. The Kyrie 5 on feet, not so much, especially yeah. me and my big foot. So, I mean, uh, maybe that's just me being biased with my long foot. Yeah. And, stuff so I think Harry 4 it is. Harry 4 it is. Very subjective. Highly <laughs> subjective. <laughs> Moving on to the traction in both shoes over here in the Carry 4 what we have is the Staircase Tetris modified herringbone traction which works like a charm. Like a charm. It moves obviously the sidewall traction pattern comes on on both sides of the of the shoe and it sticks to the floor pretty much. Carries, you know, his, his shoe down, we all know that they're, they're pretty much designed for traction. The way the dude moves is absolutely insane. So the traction in the shoe was beautiful. So over here in the Curry 5, we actually have that modified herringbone with that madness of a pivot point that's crazy. You know what? Came up with a name, right? Square call. Mess with me. I'm so sorry, man. I can't mess with that. So the Curry 5 has that modified herringbone with that square call pivot point, which does really, really well, especially on your clean courts, as most tractions would. Yeah. Now, it does pick up a lot of dust, which then affects the traction, so not great. If we're talking outdoor use, it's not popping over here. The Curry 4, on the other hand, can do a little bit of that, more yeah. so than the Curry 5. So I think the point has to go to the Curry 4. Yeah, especially we're talking durability as well. The um, carry 4 has held up pretty well so far. I still bang these. I know you still bang yours Facts. and you know that the, the Curry 5 is chipping away a little bit on the on the it's traction so the point has to go to the Carry. Next up talking about the cushion in both shoes over here in the Carry 4 what we have is a full length cushion midsole plus a zoom unit in the heel. I love the cushioning in the Carry good setup. in the Carry 4. It's a fantastic setup. It's my favorite cushioning system in the Carry shoe. Yep. It worked like a charm response, taken care of, low to the ground. It felt nice and it had that nice plushness to it as well. Exactly. It's done, yeah. bottomed out a little bit, a little bit, just a tad, but I still like playing in the shoe. It feels nice. The cushion in this is very, very good. So over here in the Curry 5, we have EVA foam. So the point goes to the Curry 4. <laughs> <laughs> I was very waiting for you to say something. Now, of course, we joke, but it's not that it's the bad thing about the shoe or the worst thing about the shoe. EVA foam is for a very, I want to say niche, 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 niche market, niche, niche market, niche market, niche market. Niche market. Niche market. Niche market. Spell niche though. N I C H E, bruv. With that line for the The line is the point. Come on, cuz. Man, no spelling, son. Which is actually designed for a very niche group of players who love court feel and that low to the ground responsiveness. And don't give a damn about their knees. Don't give a damn about their knees. It's probably only like six of you. Like six of them, but one of them's in the NBA, his name's Steph Curry, so there's five of you that like this shoe. So all five of y'all, make sure you like this video and go cop some curry fights. Point goes to the curry four. That's it. So next we're moving on to the materials of both shoes. Over here in the Curry 5, we've got that anaphone containment zones, which across the forefoot, that lateral side and the heel, along with that nip construction, which is great for that sock-like feeling. It did the absolute trick. It basically did what it says on the box, yep. which is fully containing that foot, but also giving you that close to foot feel with that nip. It did feel really good, breaking time weren't too bad, and it was super comfortable. So what more do you want when we're talking shoes and the materials? Yeah. 
over here in the carry four what we have we have mesh and some um, synthetic suede around the heel area and some hints of suede around the toe box area as well I like the materials in the in the carry four and um, they're very comfortable breaking time is minimal it does require a bit of breaking time a little bit a little bit of breaking time but the, the, the materials feel comfortable Facts. so yeah I like them so we're talking who gets the point I think it goes to the curry five I think so too we do love a bit of net it's yep. premium it's what is almost expected for basketball shoes nowadays. 100. And we're talking lightweight, flexible, zero breaking time. Curry 5 has definitely got that thick for sure. For sure. After talking about materials, only makes sense when I talk about the fit of both shoes. The fit in the Carry 4 was nice. I enjoyed the fit in the it Carry was. 4. The dynamic fly well, you know, added to the fit and made sure that the, the, the shoe conforms around your foot. It moves with you. The same way Carry plays basketball is pretty much the same with the shoe moves with your foot mm. which is fantastic breaking time is minimal whatever size you are the shoe has got you so the fit in the shoe was was decent all around over here in the curry five we also have a great fit in shoe the fit works perfectly with the materials that i mentioned earlier so it does really hold the foot well thanks to this asymmetrical lacing system it holds the foot really really well especially when we're talking lateral support um, alongside with the NFO materials, also holding the foot really well and helping with that fit. Super easy to put on, super easy to get off. A lightweight shoe, the fit goes perfectly. Taking all things into consideration, I think the point might have to go to the Curry 5. I think the fit in the Curry 5 was very, very, very good. I just like the way the shoe breaks in and it conforms nice. around your foot, so the point has to go to the Curry 5. Agreed. So next up, talking about the support of both shoes, over here in the Curry 5, we've got that anafo material and those containment zones, as I mentioned earlier, all the way from the heel, the lateral side and the forefoot, along with the Vampire Fang heel counter, which is an upgrade from its big brother, the Curry 4, which we love. And of course, the usual suspect of an outrigger to prevent rolling. Over here in the Carry 4, what we have is your outrigger as well. We have the overall lockdown of the shoe that comes from the materials, also from the dynamic fly wire as well, and your heel counter in the shoe. Obviously, Kari, the way he plays, very dynamic, very quick, very agile, stops, turns, and cuts. So the shoot, the support has to be very has good. To be A1. And the Kari 4 provides that for him. Whereas in the Kari 5, I feel like this shoe particularly is made to be worn with an ankle brace. So if you don't wear an ankle brace like myself or Timmy, the support is pretty much incomplete. incomplete. So the point has to go to the Kari 4. I completely agree. Last but not least, talking about the pricing of both shoes. Carry 4 in the UK retails for £105, whereas the Curry 5 retails for £115. Now, obviously, the Curry 5 is more expensive. Unfortunately, it's also less value for your money. Facts. The Carry 4 has better traction, the cushioning is better, and you get better support. So when you wear your options, the Carry 4 is just your better option, pretty much. You get more for less. You also get that outdoor use as well as you mentioned in the beginning exactly. to be able to use your shoe indoors and outdoor for a much longer period of time for 10 pounds less better buck what do they call it better buck for your penny penny for your buck i made that up i definitely got that wrong it's a bargain so all right guys that's the end of the comparison and as you can see by the score the Kyrie 4 comes out on top yet again it remains undefeated it's 5-2 to this bad boy what can we say what can we say the traction is clean the cushioning is clean, materials clean, support even cleaner. I mean, it's carry Irving. It's carry Irving. Ladies and gentlemen. What do we expect? What do you want? And of course, when we do these comparisons, never do we mean that the shoe that maybe doesn't come out on top is a bad shoe. Not at all. The Curry 5 is a fantastic shoe. Fantastic. It's, it does have really good traction. Yeah. The materials are fantastic. The fit is buff. And you feel like Curry when you wear them. Yeah, uh, low key. Low, low key. key. I'm a better shoe than a Curry shoe, That's what bro. I'm saying. Like, shoots that shots, they swish more. It's, I don't know what it you is. You know what it is, right? You know what it is. Every shooting coach will tell you your shot starts from your feet. You're right. So alright guys, that's it from us, and as always, show your support by liking this video, and if you do have a pair of the Curry 5s or the Curry 4, make sure you comment down below which shoe you think should come out on top, or if you tried out both, which shoe do you prefer, what parts do you prefer, we'd love to know. Follow us on Instagram, at purekicks.ig, and Twitter also, at purekicks underscore TW. And last, but definitely not least, make sure you hit that subscribe button, so you're up to date with everything from Pure Kicks. Unboxings, performance reviews, comparisons, NBA talks, we've got it all. Just make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button and of course the subscribe button to make sure you get a notification every time we drop a new video. So that's it from us. This is the Under Armour Curry 5. It's the Curry 4. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.